Hello everyone, welcome back to channel tip for you DIY, it's summer, the heat is on, and sometimes all you want is an ice cold drink fast, so today, we're building a super simple cooling machine that can chill a can of soda or water in just 20 to 28 seconds, yes seconds, not minutes. Best of all, it uses only a few basic parts and runs on 12 volts DC perfect for use go camping, outdoors, at home, or even in your car. Materials needed. Let's take a quick look at the parts you'll need for this ultra-fast cooling project. Three copper tubes of different diameters. A 12 volt DC air compressor pump or high pressure mini pump. One meter of clear, high pressure plastic tubing a small 12 volts DC fan, a 12 volt DC power source and a matching power jack. First, we'll use the copper tubes to build a nested coil system, just large enough for a soda can to fit inside. This copper coil design increases the heat exchange surface area, because here the difference in compressed air will occur in two cases hot and cold separated by the smallest copper tube, you can fix the coils with zip ties or metal clips. Make sure the coils are wrapped tightly and securely. These are easy to find at hardware stores or online and most are very affordable. In my previous video, I shared a DIY cooling project, but I realized I didn't include subtitles or a clear explanation of how it actually works. As a result, many viewers were confused about the cooling principle behind it. So today, I'm re-uploading this improved version with step-by-step -step instructions, a detailed explanation of the working principle, and everything clearly narrated. I hope this version helps you better understand how the system works. Thanks for your support and understanding. Let's get started. Now we'll finish shaping the copper pipes, bend them into place, and solder the joints together to make sure everything is sealed properly. The small copper tube used here is a capillary tube, which is commonly used in refrigeration systems. It helps regulate the flow of gas and creates a pressure drop that allows the system to cool effectively. In this build, it acts just like a capillary gas line, small, precise, and essential for the cooling effect. The capillary tube is a very small, narrow copper pipe that plays a key role in refrigeration systems. When high-pressure refrigerant gas passes through this tiny tube, its pressure suddenly drops as it exits. This pressure drop causes the refrigerant to rapidly expand and evaporate, absorbing heat from the surrounding area. When high-pressure refrigerant gas passes through this tiny tube, its pressure suddenly drops as it exits. This pressure drop causes the refrigerant to rapidly expand and evaporate, absorbing heat from the surrounding area.
A lot of viewers asked about the air compressor used in this video. I want to clarify that the pump shown here provides just enough pressure to cool a small system like this effectively. If you want to build a larger or more powerful version, you'll need a different type of pump more suitable for higher capacity. I've listed the model I recommend right here on the screen, feel free to look it up. Add the fan for better cooling. Next, place the 12 volts fan near the coil system to blow air directly over the copper pipes. This helps remove warm air from the surrounding area and increases cooling efficiency. You can mount the fan on a small stand or clip it nearby, just make sure it's pointing right at the coil. Now, connect the fan and compressor to your 12 volts power source using the DC power jack. The project is now 70% complete. Anyone can build it in under an hour with basic tools. If you found this project useful or interesting, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the DIY Tips channel for more practical tutorials, real life experiments, and clever inventions. Do you have any ideas for faster building? Share them below. We'd love to try them out. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Connect the airflow system. Now, attach one end of the clear plastic tubing to the air compressor outlet. Connect the other end to the outer copper coil. This is where the pressurized air will flow. Secure the connections with hose clamps or strong zip ties to handle the high pressure. How it works, so how does it work? When compressed air flows through the copper coils and expands, it causes a drop in pressure and temperature a basic principle of thermodynamics. The copper pipes transfer this cold temperature directly to the can inside, chilling it rapidly. It's simple science but seriously cool. Here the compressed air I use is very simple. It is gas used in cooking or you can use specialized cold air for air conditioning but do not pour lubricating oil into the system because this pump uses a soft rubber membrane so it is easy to tear the pump membrane. It is important to note that you must inflate the air in the correct direction and with the correct pressure, otherwise the pump will not work and the diaphragm will tear immediately. As the air flows through the copper tubing, it rapidly expands and absorbs heat, causing the coil to drop in temperature very quickly. This is the key to rapid cooling. Testing the system. Let's test it out.
Turn on the compressor and the fan within just 20 to 28 seconds, you'll start to feel cool. You can use a thermometer or thermal camera to track the drop in temperature. It's super fast and super satisfying. Place a room temperature soda can inside the copper coil. We've tested this multiple times and it works every time. It's like having a portable rapid cooling system in your toolbox. This setup is perfect for camping, road trips, picnics, or even just impressing your friends with a drink that chills in under 30 seconds.